Hey, I want to prove to you that a negative times a negative makes a positive. So let's get started. So it's gonna all going to start with this. It's going to start with negative A times B plus A times B. So what can we say that this equals? Well, we can actually factor out a B. So we can say that this equals B times negative A plus A. All right? And then what can we say that this equals? Well, negative A plus A equals zero, right? So then we can say that this just equals B times zero. Well, any number times zero equals zero. So let's rewrite this whole thing down here when it equals zero. So negative A times B plus A times B equals zero. All right, so then the next thing that we actually want to do is add or subtract a times b from each side. So we can make this negative a times b plus a times b minus a times b equals negative a times b. So then these two will cancel out and we'll just be left with negative a times b equals negative a times b, all right? So that was the first step in our proof, okay? So then the next thing that we're going to be showing is that, so we want to start with negative, sorry, that's not negative, negative a times negative b plus, or sorry, minus a times b, okay? Well, what can we say that this equals now? Well, up here, we just showed that negative a times b equals negative a times b, right? So we're going to use what we've just done up here down here. So we're going to say that this equals negative a times negative b minus, ne or sorry, in this case, plus negative a times b. Okay, so then we've carried that on. Now, what can we say that this thing equals? Well, we, what we can actually do, once again, is we can factor something out. Spot if you can, f see if you can spot what we can factor out. We can factor out the negative a. So we can say that this equals negative a times, well, negative b plus b. Negative b plus b, right? So then, negative b plus b, that equals zero, right? For any number. So then we can say this is negative a times zero, right? Then this equals zero. So what we want to do is we want to come back with this, right? We want to come back with negative a times negative b minus a times b equals zero. Now what we want to do is we want to add a times b onto both sides. So let's add, so this becomes negative a times negative b minus a times b plus a times b, which equals, well if we add it onto this side, we need to add it onto that side, equals a times b. So then these will cancel out and we are just left with negative a times here. Negative a times negative b equals a times b. So I've just proven that a negative times a negative equals a positive times a positive, right? Thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Let me know if I said anything wrong or if you have anything additional to add. Have a great day.